Hi everyone, following the video I put up on the 28th of October where I questioned the Leicester City helicopter crash which is still being brought up in the news every day a lot of comments on that video, some people agreeing that there's somewhat suspect about it other people believe it hook, line and sinker one of my commenters, Jack Powell, made me aware of some footage showing the horrifying moment Leicester own a helicopter leaves the stadium now it's a very interesting video and I'm brings up some interesting things. We'll take a look at it in a minute. I will just say at the beginning, um, it appears this person stood behind a screen. I say that because you'll notice reflections on the screen. They become more apparent in a minute. We'll notice we haven't seen the um, owner get on or off the helicopter. And there is some cuts in this footage. See, they just made a cut there. Now, what's great about this footage is it means we can um, see the placement of where some of the stewards were on the pitch at the time it happened because according to BT Sport footage there is a moment when they're broadcasting when they hear an explosion but interestingly you can see what's going on behind them on this big screen back here and we can see the placement of the stewards in the same area that the footage was taken from now you would think those two things would tie in. Let's have a look. Bear in mind this is uh, all happened, what we're about to see now, all happened after that video that was just taken because the video recording was stopped before the explosion. And see where these people have stood here. Indeed. Um, would Eddie Howe be considered for one of the top jobs in English football, do you think? If one of them... Okay, there is the explosion. Now bear in mind, these people are only now starting to move. And came up. Or is he... Why would he leave though? He's building something special. They've all vanished, okay? Now if we go back to our horrifying footage, you'll see that before the explosion, just as it starts spinning out of control, you can see what stewards are around, in fact. Right, and here you see someone get off the ground. They're clearly picking themselves up. I did a little mock-up of the pitch. Stewards and people were sat here and they watched the helicopter take off. Stewards were stood here, which is the view we have here. In the BT footage, no one is picking himself up off the ground. They do indeed. Um, would Eddie Howe be considered for one of the top jobs in English football, do you think? If one of them came up? Or is he... Why would he leave, though? See, He's now they move, after the explosion and there's no one sat down there. Okay. Yeah, the great thing about this footage is, so we can confirm that this is actually just a picture for illustration purposes of the helicopter. Uh, we'll just go on to this picture. I was a bit confused. I said it didn't look like the ground. Actually having looked at the layout of the, of the stadium, yeah, that does seem to be the area of the car park, but again, there's some unusual about that photo. Uh, we can also compare this footage of the helicopter taking off. Some might say it looks a bit weird. So it's very blurry, it's very poor quality. Um, and like I say, there's that I'm aware of. I, I could not see in the stadium any area behind the screen where people were stood. They do indeed. Um... I mean, perhaps there are areas screened off here. Uh, this helicopter taken off, does it look a bit... It's certainly not beyond the realms of what they can do with Photoshop. 
We'll compare that to other footage of a bit of a helicopter taking off. Just to see how it looks going into a night sky with lights on the ground. One thing you'll notice is the, the sound, very different. of a helicopter taken off. You can see that now obviously the stadium is very well lit up. Uh, there could be a bit of fog in the air caused, caused by the moisture on the pitch along with the cold air that could cause some fog in and distortion. But it's a pretty drastic change. Anyway, one final thing. Kasper Schmeichel has now thrown his name into the uh, mix. Kasper Schmeichel claims that I was on the pitch and I waved him off, Schmeichel said, after the Foxes had returned to action. Uh, I saw it all happen. It is something that will stay with me, unfortunately. It's not a nice memory, but I've had all the support I need. So Kasper Schmeichel is claiming that he was on the pitch as the helicopter took off. I'm curious which one Casper is. But there is some other other footage of um, security, um, a CCTV camera outside the ground. Uh, unfortunately it doesn't do much, the game could easily be photoshopped, it is just someone recording off a TV screen. And the only thing it does tell us is what time it was supposed to have happened. Meaning BT Sport could easily verify whether this would anyhow be considered for one of the top jobs in English football, do you think? The helicopter exploded. We'll see the helicopter come down, see what you think. Oh no, sorry, just over here. Can see that again? <laughs> I'm sorry. What do we reckon? Does that prove everything that's being reported about the helicopter that supposedly crashed took place? Or does it in fact raise even more questions? Uh, one final thing actually I will point out is this footage here where the guy is talking about the helicopter. Something a bit odd happens. It's about life choices. Uh, we did all right. Shot his feet in there for the day. Is what? Well. As you can see, the owners are now heading off. Of course, they make a joke about life choices just before the guy dies. And again, we get to see the stewards, none of which have sat down. And again, I cannot see Casper Schmeichel on the pitch, but he could be. Could be in a hidden corner. I would like uh, Leicester City to verify where he was stood. I might reach out to them on Twitter and see what I can find out. But anyway, it's when we look. consider our life choices. Uh, we did all right. Shot his fee in there for the day. Is what? Who shot his fee is in that helicopter <laughs> for today? Okay. Someone is recording from behind the screen as this is happening. Maybe they do have screens up here. There does seem to be some reflections on there. But there is, among that, a steward sat down in later footage. <laughs> Do you know what? You can hop in there and get a lift up to Scotland for the Betfred Cup games tomorrow. But let's um, let's keep the conversation about Bournemouth. And let's first of all hear from Alex Deutsch. It was a really good. Yes, we were live on air. You would have seen it taking off as we headed into our uh, our previous ad break. Um, Here we go. What do you think this is? This is glitching caused by the use of uh, usually green screen chroma keys. Is there a suggestion that perhaps these people are not even at the football football stadium like they claim, but they're in a studio somewhere? The helicopter has crashed. I mean, there are, there are ground staff down there at the moment. You can see people actually walking around on the pitch with their, with their head in the hands. Uh, people, you can see people actually walking around on the pitch with their, with their head in the hands. Uh, uh, people on mobile phones running around here as they, as they try and deal with what is an unfolding situation. OK, I'm going to suggest there is some evidence to say these people are sat in front of a green screen. I mean, they keep making 
the point about being sat in the stadium. As you can see, the owners are. I don't know, too many glitches for my liking. Because if you take a video of someone in a room talking. Um, there you go. You, I bet you won't get any glitching like that when you record people normally. Okay, maybe there's more questions than answers. I'd be interested to hear your views on this.